Um, it is work day. I'm already out and about. Um, in fact, I'm out all day today. Um, and I'm a bit early for a meeting. So, breakfast this morning is Greg's bacon and sausage roll. Tea. There are some days where it's just a busy day and actually when I'm out and about, trying to actually bring my breakfast or bring food to me is almost impossible. So those are the out days. Um, tonight is date night as well, so we're out for food this evening. So it's an all, a full day of just eating out. So I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. So that if you're in the same position, you're thinking, oh, I'm out, what choices can I make? I mean, you might think a bacon sausage roll is not a great choice, but we're already at 25 to 10, so it's a bit of a late start, so a bit of an intermittent fast. And um, this will really, really keep me going until lunchtime, more than lunchtime really. So that's why lunchtime I can afford to probably eat a little bit lighter as I'm going out this evening as well. So yeah, so um, go on breakfast and then uh, get on with my day. Done. It is now lunchtime, so I just popped in Tesco's on my way back to the office. And because I, I quite like Tesco in the sense that you've got like the ultimate flexibility with their meal deals, so it doesn't necessarily have to be a sandwich. So I've got the salmon teriyaki, which I absolutely love, and as my um, snack, I've got the carrot sticks and hummus. I did need to go for the sushi, but I thought, well, I've already got salmon and rice, so it'd be double double. So this is uh, 382 calories, and this is a uh, 112. So happy days. That's 500, yeah, more or less, 500, 500 calories, which I'm more than happy about. So I'm on about 900, and um, I've already put in the food I'm going to have this evening. Um, so I am just about 100 calories underneath my total for today. So, yes, I'm going to go back to the office and eat this, and I will see you for dinner tonight. So this is day two, um, this is the at home day. So I started off a little bit of mascara on because I'm off to the gym. Um, no full face of makeup today. Got my water bottle. Excuse the messy hair because it's just about to go back. Um, yeah, so I've already done my morning journaling routine. My kind of new adapted one. Um, yeah, so I'm off to the gym because I watched a video last night about, um, it was a doctor talking about skeletal muscle loss as you get older and actually the effect that actually has on your health, not just your fitness as in kind of cardiovascular, but actually how it affects your entire body as you get older. Uh, when she mentioned all cause mortality, which means the things that contribute to your end, um, got my attention, really got my attention. So I woke up this morning and thought, off to the gym you go, get out the door. So yeah, so I phoned Shannon because she wasn't feeling any either and I said, we go in, we go in. Anyway, so I'm off to the gym, water, and um, I'll fill you in a little bit in the video that I watched later. And um, yeah.
day to me. Don't judge me, guys. Don't judge me. So it was leg day today. Now it's the first, it's the first day really back in the gym since I had my virus because it's, oh, it's taken me a while to feel like myself again. So I was back in the gym. Um, Shannon was with me, as you would have seen, and um, she said, right, what are you going to do? Are you going to do your own thing? Are you going to follow me? And I was like, well, go on then. Let me see what you were doing. So I kind of went through a routine with her. Uh, but the one thing I did notice was um, I was doing the squat and I was having knee pain. So she said to me, the minute you start feeling pain, stop. So I was like, right, okay. So I did and I gave myself a bit of a rest, started again, no knee pain again. So she said, right, let's have a look at your form. So she said, no, your form looks all right. So she said, oh, I know what to do. So over on one of the benches, it's got like an adjustable seat. So she said, right, okay. She said, I want you to uh, use that and I want you to adjust it to the point where you can do the squat without feeling knee pain. I've got to be honest with you, it must have been like this many inches, <laughs> that was it. But she made a really good point. She said, the thing is, you haven't done anything for such a long time she said, despite the fact you've lost weight, she said, at the end of the day, you, your body's not used to doing that. It's used to sitting down on a chair, yes, but it's not used to doing the repetitive movement. So she said, you're going to have to start really, really slow. And I was like, really slow? She was like, really slow. So I did. I mean, literally, it lowered myself down, kind of like, probably like this much, in the position repetitively. Obviously, if I'm sitting down normally, then it's a bit different. But, so I could do that much repetitively. So I said, right, okay, let's, let's do that. And she said, over time, she said, the muscles around the knee will just build and you'll be able to go down deeper and deeper and deeper. She said, but, she said, start from where you're at. And I was like, actually, you know, that's a really good point. That is a really, that is a really good point. Start from where you're at. So that kind of really got me thinking about other injuries, because I got a shoulder injury as well. Um, and the last time I went in and did my shoulder, I couldn't do the shoulder press at all. Um, so I'm thinking about the same about that, you know. I mean, I don't know how how kind of like you feel about, you know, exercise. Do you go to the gym? Do you feel pain? Do you work through it? What, what do you do? Um, because, you know, my body is so different now at 50 than it was even at 40, 45 when I went back to the gym. Even at 45, I could still go back to the gym, still do all the same range of mo movements without any pain at all, but not at 50. So, yes, it's about starting from where you're at, I think. I think it's about that. So, it, it's made me reevaluate. I think, my, my exercise um, and think about some of the things I can't do and think about ways I can modify them. But more about that when I've kind of figured it out, I think. But it's given me a really good starting point, if that makes sense. Anyway, I digress. So yes, breakfast is cooking. Um, one thing I really want to do is actually get my protein up because I did watch a video. Um, if you know me, I like my research. Um, I did watch a video about um, muscle loss, skeletal muscle... And as you get older, especially women hitting menopause, and I went, oh, that's me, that's me. So the video was really interesting, actually. I'll leave it linked below. It was another Rangan Chatterjee one, Dr. Rangan Chatterjee. Um, um, he was interviewing, oh, I can't think of her name, but I will leave a link below. And she was talking about how important protein is. First muscle, uh, first muscle, first meal, <laughs> first meal and last meal of the day when you're hitting menopause and your female so I thought right okay so I know I need to work on building my protein the one interesting thing that she did say that I was a bit surprised about um was he asked her he said well what if he said because actually getting that amount of protein because she's recommending between 30 and 50 grams of protein for breakfast and he said it can obviously be really difficult getting that amount of protein in you know and he said and what you do you know especially when you're older perhaps your appetite decreases not mine mine hasn't decreased yet obviously um but what do you do? And he said, how would you feel about protein shakes? And she said, yeah, absolutely go for it. So well, that surprised me because there's lots of health and fitness people out there. They'll go, 
you know, uh, no, you better off getting it from a non, you know, a, you know, a sustainable source, you know, blah. But what she said was, yes, you better off getting good quality protein, like salmon or something like that first thing in the morning, eggs. She said, but she said, if you're struggling to hit it, it's more important that you hit it as long as you use a good source of whey protein, she said, not pea protein, because I was really interested in the one thing she said. She said, if you're vegan or vegetarian, so you're relying on more plant-based stuff, I think it'd be more vegan. She said you need to hit more like 55 grams of protein in the morning because the the quality of the protein is not as good as the animal protein in terms of like amino acids and stuff like that. So that was really, really interesting. So she said, if she said you're like a vegetarian or you know, you're a meat eater, she said, go for a good quality whey protein. Now, Shannon does whey proteins because she's, um, she goes to the gym and you know, you know young people like everything's quick fix, quick fix. But she does have a protein powder from I think it's called My Protein. I think it's called My Protein. But she did turn and say she'd give me some so I could give it a go. And yeah, so I'll I'll, I'll have a think about that. I wanna try and get it from food sources, but if not, then maybe that's the way to go. I'm thinking. But I'll give it a go, give it a try, you know, give it anything a try. Um, yes, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to cook my breakfast and um, I'll see you a little bit later. So I've just put breakfast into my Nutri-Check. So as you've already seen, I've got the, I've got two eggs this time. Normally I do one, but I've got, please excuse my hair. Um, I've got, and smudge crunch in the background. Um, I've got two eggs, tomatoes, two slices of ham, my sourdough, butter on it. And I put it all into my Nutri-Check and it's come up as 30 grams of protein. Yes. So I've hit that. How I would get 50 in is beyond me, I don't know. Protein shake. That's probably how I would get 50 in. Because that's what she recommends. She recommends that the first meal of your day is at least 30 grams of protein. Now, I do love my, um, what's it called? Vanilla toast, perhaps the brain fog hasn't completely gone. Um, I do love my vanilla toast, my um, fruit and my yoghurt. But there's still, those things don't have high, high protein. And she's recommending, especially for women, menopause age, sort of anything. She recommends about 40, I think about 40 onwards. Um, that protein, first meal of the day and last meal of the day should be between 30 and 50 grams. And she also recommends protein at one gram per pound of ideal body weight is how she calculates it. So I'll have to work that out. I haven't worked that out yet. But just 30, 50, both. So happy days. I've managed to hit that. Oh, she got my new mug. I don't know if I ever showed you this one. Sweater weather. It's definitely sweater weather. It's definitely a bit cooler out today for sure. So yes, this comes to 484 calories back for this. And it's nearly lunchtime, so the chances are I'm not gonna eat lunch. Afternoon, lovely people. Um, yes, so clean, hair's done, bit of makeup on, feeling a bit more like myself. Um, Yes, I haven't really done that much this afternoon, to be honest. Um, and I did turn and say that I would tell you what I do in terms of activity through my um, through my videos to let you know kind of what I'm doing as well. So today, bear in mind I have been to the gym. I'm on 7,757 steps so far. So I'm nearly at my 8,000 targets. So I'll definitely hit that one today. Um, yes, I've hit my exercise goal today 36 minutes out of 30 happy days happy days but it is now dinner time it is a friday also so in order to contrast the two days you know so we can compare calories and think well actually is eating out more calories than eating in um then i think it's only fair that i actually do it on something like a weekend because going out you kind of think about a weekend and um, a weekend you tend to want something more, something nice, something tasty, you know, a bit like the carvery that I had. You want something that compares, if that makes sense. So I am going back to something that I haven't made for a good while yet. So I'm going back to something that I haven't made for a hot minute. 
and I've made this for such a long time, um, especially way before I went to Italy, definitely, definitely, definitely. So I am making my chicken and chickpea curry. Oh, because do you know what? I'm looking out there now and the sun is going down much earlier. I can actually feel a bit of coldness in the air. It's like I went up for a walk with Smadge earlier this morning and it was beautiful and sunny and when you're in the sun, it was like really, really hot. But when you're in the shade, you could feel that cold in the air, which, oh, it's autumn, guys, it's autumn. So yes, so I'm making something that's yummy, autumn, Friday fake away-ish. Make you feel like you've had something nice. So anyway, I'm going to get on with it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave um, the recipe in the description below, just in case you're interested. So yeah, let's get on with this curry. Mm -hmm. 